Hi there, I'm Larissa Swanland, and I'm here to introduce the latest addition to the digital FPGA lineup, the Genesis 2. If you're looking for a platform with Xilinx's Kintex 7 technology, need high-end processing capabilities, then this is the board for you. Our Genesis lineup is characterized by having ready-to-use, high-capacity and high-speed FPGA, fast external memories, and high-speed digital ports. They also have wide expansion options and are particularly well suited for high-end processing. Some significant improvements we've made on this generation of the Genesis is the update from Xilinx Vertex 5 FPGA to the newest power-optimized FPGA family, the Kintex 7. The Kintex 7 FPGA from Xilinx offers more capacity, higher performance, and more resources than the Vertex 5 found on the original Genesis. This Kintex has 50,950 logic slices, each with four six-input lookup tables and eight flip-flops. It has close to 16 megabits of fast block RAM, 10 clock management tiles, each with phase lock loop, 840 DSP slices, internal clock speeds exceeding 450 megahertz, on-chip analog to digital converter, it also has 1800 megabits per second of DDR3 memory and transceivers that can go up to 10 gigabits per second. Like the previous version, the Genesis 2 board has a variety of GPIOs, including eight user switches, eight LEDs, included power supply, onboard programming, populated audio codec and jacks for line in, line out, microphone, and headphone, and onboard Ethernet 5 a variety of USB options, including hosts on the go and a USB UART bridge, VGA connections, and real-time power monitoring on all power rails, and included an onboard programmable clock generator. With the Genesis 2, we've made a few upgrades. First is the upgrade from 256 megabytes of DDR2 to 1 gigabyte of high-speed DDR3 memory. There are two four-lane display ports and HDMI sync and source ports. This memory addition, coupled with the upgrades that we provided in the peripherals, is what makes this board particularly well-suited for high-speed audio and video applications. On the Genesis 2, we've upgraded the expansion connectors. The first is we've upgraded the VMOD connector found on the previous version to use fully populated 400-pin FMC connectors and added one additional PMOD port to have analog to digital converters on it. That brings the total PMOD count from 4 to 5. Additional upgrades include increasing the number of buttons from the two found on the previous to 5 and arranging those buttons in a gamepad configuration. We've added a micro SD card reader and changed the 16x2 character LCD display on the Genesis 1 to 128 by 32 pixel OLED display seen here. The Genesis 2 is compatible with both ISE and Xilinx's new high-performance design suite, Vivado. However, the free Webpack version of either one of these suites do not support the Kintex 7 32.5T FPGA, so users will need to use at least the design or system edition. To download the trial or to purchase a license, you can visit xilinx.com Vivado. However, for people who have purchased the Genesis 2, Xilinx has allowed us to include a free node lock version of Vivado Design Edition in the box. This way, users can get started with the Kintex 7 FPGA right away with no additional cost. You can learn more about the Genesis 2 by visiting digitalinc.com slash Genesis 2. For technical support documentation, including getting started guides, visit our resource center at reference.digitalinc.com slash Genesis 2. And if you have any questions not answered in that material, feel free to ask them on the Digilent forums. So, if you're looking for a high-end board, ideal for video or large data processing applications, check out the Genesis 2. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe. Thanks for watching.